Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey, Taurus, this is Dana. How you doing? What's going on? How's it rolling, Taurus? How are things doing? I am excited to do this reading today. I am. I am excited. So let's just uh, throw the cards and see what they have to say. Let's just skip all the bullshit, Taurus, and get straight to the point, okay? Let's just throw these cards and see what they have to say. Give me a chance to channel and I will lay out a message. I'll hella confuse the heck out of you for just a second, but we'll sew together story, okay? All right, ready? Focus. Focus with me. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective spirit. Everybody. Everybody spirit. I have the collective of Taurus with me. And they want to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus? And what does the specific Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future spirit? What is it that's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Please use me as a clean and clear vessel right there to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. All right, let's do it. Ready? Let's go. Can you guys see that? Okay, let's go. One, two, two, three. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Holy schmoly. The Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Sun to the Prince of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Princess of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. All right, let's do it. Boom. Ouch. The High Priestess in reverse. First card out. Sets the tone for everything. Um, not following your intuition, not listening. The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled. How you expect to get your wishes fulfilled? Comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life, Taurus, if you ain't following your intuition. That is your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to guide you in the direction of your best and highest good. How can you be successful if you don't follow your intuition? Nine of Cups. All right, you guys, let's make some sense out of all this. So the High Priestess in reverse. First card out sets tone for everything. What is this High Priestess in reverse here for Taurus? Well, the world, just like the middle. Okay, so, okay, so cycle closure. Um, strength in reverse, your weakness. The moon in reverse, coming to terms with it. And the Eight of Cups, walking away from something. Okay. Okay, look, you go from the Eight of Cups into the Nine of Cups right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, and it all comes about because of some kind of truth. Some kind of truth or understanding of some sort. Okay, so tell me what this, uh, what this Ace of Swords and the Princess of Wands in reverse is. The Queen of Swords. Okay. Perhaps some kind of decision, some kind of aha moment, decision, truth, mind in the game, princess of wands, exploration, discovery, excitement, a message. What is the princess of wands? All right, Taurus, this is what's going on here, okay? A few things that you need to know about me before we get started is that I'm told I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I may be slightly irreverent. I will probably swear, and I may or may not smoke my vape actually on camera. If any of that bothers you, this neighborhood is just too rough for you, and you need to move over to greener pastures, okay? All right, so let's do it. What's going on here, Taurus? What is happening? Well, 
well, well, well, Taurus. I hate to be a buzzkill in the whole situation, but you are about to enter into some kind of hugely significant relationship in your life. Hugely significant. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? There is a big, huge opportunity coming at you like a freaking freight train, and these cards want you to be prepared for it. All right, these cards, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. This is divinely orchestrated in your life. This reading is about being prepared for what is about to take place, okay? Because something huge is about to take place, huge, okay? All right, all right. High Priestess in reverse. This is you guarding the place inside of yourself where this relationship needs to take root, okay? This relationship needs a place to go and all of your internal real estate is occupied okay you got that occupied over there and this piece over here and that compartmentalized and that compartmentalized and you have it all allotted for and there's this one place inside of you where a love relationship needs to go that you are adamantly refusing to allow anything or anyone to tap into okay this needs to change. This cycle of your life is over. The whole everything that brought you to this point right here is finished. You have all of the tools that you need in some form or fashion in order to do what it is that you need to do to usher in a brand new phase of your life. A phase of your life that is about some kind of significant relationship, okay? Okay, strength in reverse. What do they want you to understand about all of this? Well, they want you to understand that this, this, this protection spot that you have right here is your weakness. It's not your strength. You think it's your strength, right? You think you are protecting yourself. Uh-uh, never going to be vulnerable again. Never going to go there again. Not interested. Don't want to compromise, share. I just don't want... A relationship in my life but in your soul you do want a relationship in your life you just don't want the kind of relationships that you've had before in your life right the, the weakness the moon come to terms come to terms with that which you know to be true what do you know to be true what do you know to be true that uh, you want this you want a relationship what do you not want to be true? Well, that you have to be vulnerable to be in a relationship, right? Come to terms with this. Eight of Cups. Come to terms and walk away from those emotions that keep you rooted in this piece of real estate in, inside of yourself, okay? Nine of Cups. Because the universe is trying to bring you the desires of your heart. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. That's what they're trying to usher into you. But this relationship, Princess of Wands, this message, Prince of Cups, this message, this interaction, this exchange, this moment, the moment that you are going to get this connection, okay, they need you to be available to it, okay? Ace of Swords says, see some absolute truth. Uh, this is a this is a triumphant epiphany in your mind, right? Aha moment. See that with what they're about to say right here in the Queen of Swords, and use it for your best interest. Okay, um, what's going on, Princess of Wands? There is some kind of message that needs your enthusiasm, Taurus. Okay, Prince of Cups. There is a message that's coming to you. What is Taurus to you? Nine of Swords. Oh my God, no way. I can't believe this is happening. I don't want this. The Ten of Wands. All of my other relationships have been such a burden and a struggle. I'm happy uh, where I'm at. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm trucking right along. And I just don't have the time, the patience, or the desire for a relationship. Ace of Wands in reverse. No desire, right? No desire for a relationship. To the Six of Pentacles. Um, to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life. I'm just, I'm good. I'm good where I am. To the Prince of Cups. Oh, there's a message coming at you. 
there is a message coming at you to the chariot in reverse that you are not you're not going to be able to hop on the wagon in time Taurus if you're dragging your feet in the nine of swords okay because this is being the princess of wands and the prince of cups it is a a quick intentional offer to you a quick intentional offer and I have a feeling like you're gonna have to make a decision like on the spot like on the spot on the spot okay on the spot chariot in reverse um, but you're not ready you're not ready you're not ready and that's what they're trying to get through to you here okay there's some loose ends that you need to tie up to be ready willing and able to engage in this to the Emperor okay the Emperor the Knight of Pentacles and the Empress fabulous right what is this well this message that's coming into you is going to be offering you long steady stable security um, between a counterpart someone that is worthy of you and you are worthy of them someone who is in control of themselves someone who knows how to create in their life the things that are important as do you with the empress okay so so the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles talks about methodical slow steady stable okay that's what's about to happen for you taurus you are about to get some kind of an offer that is going to happen quick, fast, and it needs your immediate attention. And it is divinely orchestrated into your life and they need you to be on point. So you're gonna have to free up some of this real estate that you are keeping to yourself over here. These Six of Pentacles. Greed in the sense of well-being, right? Greed in the sense of well-being to the Knight of Wands. Okay, to the Four of Cups in reverse, all right? What, to the High Priestess in reverse, no less. Okay, so what this is saying is that Taurus just really doesn't want to share. <laughs> Taurus just really doesn't want to share. I think that things are good in your life. I think that you've come to terms with a lot of stuff. You've done a lot of work. You've done a lot of healing. And you are just, you've got this big callus that's built up around your emotions okay and this big callus that's built up around your emotions the knight of wands right i want to do whatever i want to do whenever i want to do it to the four of cups in reverse and i am emotionally apathetic to changing my situation to the high priestess in reverse i am protecting that space that's inside of me I don't need anybody trying to tap into it. And I am just really good Queen of Pentacles, like I am on my own. I am in a good position. And I'm really not interested in joining forces with someone else because to join forces with someone else, I must take down my walls and be vulnerable. Mm hmm. And this is what this relationship is in your life. It's about you learning to be vulnerable. It's about sending it without self-protection. Sending it and being your true, genuine, authentic self. And they can take it or leave it. And there's a huge offer. A huge offer that's coming your way. Huge, gigantic offer. The Hermit, Universe, Spirit says, let's sit down and talk about some of this a little bit. Let's do some soul searching and some introspection because your words say one thing, but your soul says something else. Your soul tells us that you want a relationship in your life. Your soul tells us that, that you want to share in the everyday with someone. Mm-hmm. Let's do some soul searching and some introspection and let's talk about the King of Cups in reverse. Let's talk about your emotional insecurity. Let's talk about your emotional apathy. Let's work on some things to get you in a position to be able to accept what it is that we're trying to divinely orchestrate into your life. The world in reverse because you're blocking us, Taurus. You're blocking us. You're completely blocking us. And if you don't 
open up this place and allow this relationship to take root, you will continue to repeat the same cycles over and over and over again. Close the door and allow us, Queen of Cups, to bring you the kind of relationship that you want. To bring you a soul relationship. You got the emperor, the empress, the queen of pentacles, the king of pentacles. Even though the king of cups is in reverse, the queen of cups is in the upright, right? We have, we have a lot of, and the, and the, and, 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 and the wheel of fortune, right? We have a lot of divine orchestration happening in this reading. And they really, really want you to accept this. Okay, the seven of wands, you're fighting against the universe to the seven of swords in reverse. Please break free. It's just this futile mentality that you have to the five of swords of this futile mentality of a win at all costs, white knuckle grip on a mindset. What's that mindset? Don't need it. Don't want it. Not interested in it. But your soul says different. Mm -hmm. Death in reverse, resistant, resistant to change, resistant to this change that's coming possibly. But it's also about a personal transformation, right? An inner personal transformation where you purge some things. What are you going to purge? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This mentality that you have been stuck in for so long that you have just been this huge deflector shield, just psh, 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 right? And the universe needs that to change. They want that to change. It has to change in order for you to be fulfilled in the core root of who you are. This relationship is significant to your future. Is it forever and always? Amen. Nobody knows, not even the universe, because it depends on how we act in a relationship. It's free will. If you act right, maybe it's forever and always, amen. If, if people don't act right, then it's not going to be forever and always, amen. But it is significant for the next leg of your journey. It is. Queen of Wands in reverse to the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's about being all salty about things that have happened in the past. Queen of Wands in reverse is someone with a lack of desire. Queen of Wands in reverse is someone with a lack of confidence. Ten of Cups in reverse is misaligned values, misaligned emotions, hurt emotions, the endings of families, marriages, and situations. Okay, so this is what you're stuck on right here, right? Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords comes on top of it and says, no, work this out. Work on this. Work, work this out. This needs to be worked out to the Four of Swords. Hang up the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you are holding in your mind. Pick up the Fourth Sword, bring stability to your mindset, and push forward Alchemist in reverse because you're blocking your potential. You, you're blocking the release of the potential of this relationship on your life. Not just because you're, you're, you, you, you're pining after some kind of a relationship. No, this relationship is divinely orchestrated. This isn't just a regular old relationship. That's why they need you to get rid of residual bullshit that you're dwelling on. This is a significant relationship of some sort that is meant to usher you into the next phase of your life. And you're blocking all of your potential. Ace of Cups in reverse. Why? Well, hurt feelings, emotional apathy, hurt feelings to the devil. The devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. It's an attachment to your flesh nature. And it's restricting your growth. What growth? Your soul's growth. Remember, this is divinely orchestrated. This is huge. This is like a turnover in everything and you're blocking it with a flesh attachment to sorrow mm -hmm. queen of swords make some sense out of that make some sense out of that decipher it find some some understanding in your mind and let go of this mentality that you have six of cups in reverse 
come to terms, come to a truth terms with the past, stuck in the past, repeating the past, stuck in the past, fear of repeating the past, okay? If you're still the same person that you were, then this reading wasn't for you. Remember in the very beginning, this person that I'm talking to has healed and grown. And because they have healed and grown, they are ready for the next phase of their life. What's the next phase of their life? A healthy relationship. Four of Swords, again, come to terms with some shit. To the Three of Wands in reverse, because you, you are your own obstacle. What's the obstacle? The Six of Swords in reverse. All the mental baggage that you are holding in this real estate right here. Ten of Swords, um, painful endings from the past. Don't want to ever engage again because of the painful endings from the past. Strength in reverse. Again, this is your weakness, just like it was up there. Weakness, holding all of this in this space that, that you are just like, no, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, nope. Yeah, that's a weakness. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Nothing can take root there. Nothing can take root there. The Eight of Cups. You have to leave this emotional disappointment behind you and be vulnerable and open up emotional disappointment about unmet expectations from your past, emotional disappointments about how things didn't work out. It's a blockage because King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay? He's coming at you. This King of Pentacles is the Emperor. Empress is the Queen of Pentacles. This is all you and another person, a significant person, Princess of Pentacles, and there's going to be an offer. And this offer needs good soil to be able to grow. And this good soil to be able to grow is found behind the fences that you refuse to allow anybody to step onto. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles. Balance this out. Balance this out. Knight of Pentacles. Because the kind of stability and safety and long-term everything that you're looking for is right here. The sun. It's the path of happiness, success, and vitality. See clearly, Eight of Wands in reverse, that you not participating, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, out of self-protection, out of insecurity, Three of Cups in reverse, is an interference to your ability to create in this situation. I don't think this has anything to do with third party situations. What is this three cups in reverse about? Is this about stifled creativity? Unable to be at the right place at the right time? Yeah, two of swords in reverse. It's the crossroads. Unable to be at the right place at the right time doing the right thing because you're not um, allowing it to happen. Tell me more about this three of cups. The Nine of Cups. Started with the Nine of Cups, ends with the Nine of Cups. The universe is trying to usher into you wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. And they need you to let go of all of this. Why? Where are you going? The Wheel of Fortune. The divinely orchestrated steps of your path. A massive, gigantic, humongous turning point in your life. The Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity to sow the seeds and grow the roots of the Ten of Pentacles, of foundation, future, money, um, massive, massive increase in your life. This opportunity is going to allow you to sow the seeds of massive, massive increase and stability in your life. And they need the real estate that you're sitting on, Taurus. They need the real estate that you're sitting on in order for all of this to happen. So come to terms with all of this guarded, walled off, emotionally apathetic, human understanding of your life and allow the universe to work things out to bring you to this place. But they will not and cannot intervene in your free will. They will not and cannot intervene in your free will. Your free will has to open those gates and say, all right, bring it. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, the universe is going to send it, Taurus. They're going to send it right at you. It's all there. It's just waiting for you. 
It's just waiting for you to lower your defenses, take a breath, and step into the path of your purpose. Hope that helps someone. Namaste.